Hey there folks, it is Stephen Foster and today I am coming to you live from the Oak Bay Marina. Uh, the lovely Oak Bay Marina where you can store your boats year round here because it's a nice protected moorage away from the winter winds that howl through the Juan de Fuca Strait. Anyway, today we're going to talk about real estate. Market in review for the month of January 2012. Yes folks, it is 2012 and we have started off with a... I say it, a murmur, a bit of a murmur, not a huge growl, but a bit of a murmur because our sales have remained stable since December. I don't think I missed you on, I missed you in December. So uh, December was pretty much the same. Um, moving along, slow, but gentle, slow and gentle, sort of lifestyle here in Victoria. So during the last quarter, the market has basically remained the same, unchanged, just sticking the same way because we had a little more, few more buyers, but not as many as we thought, and then more listings, and then those started falling off. So it's what people like to say, balance, against that balanced market thing. It gets kind of boring, isn't it? It's sort of like, you know, that, that benign climate, never gets too cold, never gets too hot, but here in Vic, it's always the same, it's always groovy, and, uh, and it makes for a very stable environment, especially when you're investing money in property. The average single family home in Victoria is around $592,000. That's for an average family home. So if you're an average family and uh, you want to get into a home, that's about the price. If you're above average family, it's going to cost you a whole lot more. Uh, what is an above average family anyways? What do you got? Three kids, four kids, seven kids. Who has seven kids nowadays? I have one child, but you know, I can't even keep control of that little world and she's only four. So I was mentioning how condos are such a great buy. Well, the average condo price is $312,000. i have been looking, in fact, you know, in comparison to the Montreal market, Montreal, we always think is so depressed. Montreal is actually coming up in value. And so if you were in Montreal and you're thinking of downsizing and moving to the West Coast and living in a condo, it's actually a pretty good bargain because I've seen condos out here in Victoria for as low as $219,000 right in Oak Bay. Uh, and then, uh, you know, if you've got a condo in Montreal and you want to get out of the, get out, get out of the cold and the potholes and the, and the, and the infrastructure that needs a lot of rehabilitation there because of all the concrete falling down over your head, uh, Victoria would be a good spot to come and the condos are a good deal. So that's enough of condos for January. Now townhomes are a different story. Last month they're up to 387, up from 380 the previous month, but down overall on the six month medium average. But townhouses houses are up, which is an indication to me that there's a lot of, still a lot of downsizing going on. You know how they say Victoria, newlywed, nearly dead. Well, that's not so much the case anymore because the newlywed is me and I'm in my forties and uh, I ain't nearly dead yet. But uh, all right, let's talk about the luxury market. One of my favorite subjects, six homes over $1 million were sold in January, which isn't a huge number, but uh, it's significant enough to say that there's still people out there with a little cash flow looking to get into really exceptional properties. For those of you Gulf Island buyers, six sales in January throughout all the Gulf Islands. That's Maine, Galliano, Pender, Saturna Island, and then all the little outer islands that are stuck in between. So not a lot of action out there, but there's a lot of great deals to be found. So if you're a buyer and you're looking at the Gulf Islands, keep checking it out. I've got lots of great new pages on my site and it'll outline all the properties that are for sale in the Gulf Islands. And if you need any questions about it, give me a call and I can get you some of those answers as well. But Steven, you're sending us these videos, you're putting it on YouTube. What does all of this mean? Well, it just means that the market here in Victoria and Southern BC is still very healthy. We're going to see average prices. We're going to see, we're going to see fluctuations in the market up and down, up and down. But in the end, everything's going to work out okay. Because why? Well, it just has to because that's the way it is. I know it sounds kind of flippant, but that's the way I am today. Feeling kind of flippant down here in the, down here in the Oak Bay Marina and uh, see if one of these people want to take me for a sale because the wind's picking up and there's a whole bunch of boats out in the bay starting the after school classes. Anyways, till next time, I am Stephen Foster. Hope you've enjoyed today's market report. Hope the world is treating you well in 2012. And uh, give a holler sometime, send me a note, say hi, just to say hi. And uh, we'll see you next time.